know, when we think about the golden days of Hollywood, we often think about the period, don't we, between, say, the 1930s and possibly, I would say, the 1970s. Or is that our generation? Did it continue for you? Of course, a lot of people remember the 80s and 90s, the sort of section of the hard men, you know, the Rambos, the Stallones, the Schwarzeneggers, the Jean-Claude Van Dams, all of that sort of stuff. They truly took over, didn't they? But you see, it was interesting to note recently that I found out that if you had one of these, you could literally be sitting on a fortune as ever. Let me explain. Morning, lovely to see you. Thank you so much for taking the time out to join me today. I'm talking to you, yes. We are movie fans on this show, aren't we? We all love a bit of Hollywood nostalgia. Part of the reason I think, and you know, let me know what you think as ever in the comments, but I think it's because they created a wonderful illusion, you know, a life that possibly you and I could only dream of. And we believed all the stories, didn't we? You know, that sort of stuff. When I was very young, you know, I was very lucky to have a library that stocked a lot of areas really well, including biographies of movie stars and stuff like that. And also magazines and stuff, you know, because remember in that era, not everybody could afford to buy magazines, particularly magazines about about the golden age of Hollywood. You know, things like photo play, remember that? Picture goer. And they were the staple diet of finding out all about your favorite star. Now, guess what? These particular magazines are worth a fortune online now, particularly if they're in mint condition. So you better get checking in that uh, attic or something, or maybe under the bed, you've still got some. And I wanted to know, did you ever buy any of these magazines or were they beyond your reach? A friend of mine, when she was very young, her mother used to buy the sort of fourth week down the line, second and third week, that sort of stuff, because they will be reduced, you know, that sort of thing. And then of course, there was the yearly movie annual, wasn't there, that everybody really wanted to have part of your stocking filler. In my generation, it was things like annuals from TV, you know, the big series like Star Trek, Star Trek uh, Doctor Who, that sort of stuff. Blue Peter over here in the United Kingdom, everybody wanted an annual. And I also wanted to ask this, and it's just a fun, really, sort of debate, but it's interesting because of how things have changed. When you think about it today, there's no such thing really as an annual because everything's influencers, isn't it? You know, it's all on uh, Instagram or Twitter or Snapchat or something like that. Nobody physically buys anything anymore. Now, were you one of those either guys or ladies that actually sent up to the Hollywood studios for a signed picture of your favorite movie star? Did Lana finally sign that picture that you wanted? Was it Marilyn? Was it John Payne? John Wayne? Who knows? But what was your favorite movie star? And did you actually believe when you got the picture that they'd signed it? And more importantly, did you tell your mum that you were sending off for it? Oh yes, the sneakies out there, of course, know what I'm talking about. But it's interesting, isn't it? Because as I say, it's a lost genre. We all look at things online and there's lots of movie channels that are full of nostalgic films. And we try to show you some here on our community, on our chums units. Every Sunday, I try and find a, a film that I think might relax you or just switch you off uh, before the start of another busy week. But as ever, really, has that golden age now gone? And do you still look back fondly or have you kept some of the albums and given them down the line to your family? Either way, it's a topic that I think is worth revisiting. But more importantly, as I say, if you've got an original copy of one of the annuals, it's worth quite a lot of money. Yes, we could be, well, I know, get looking. We don't, we could, yes, almost retire, I think, on that money. Absolutely. <laughs> the golden age of Hollywood never goes out of style. New Sean in the very heart of London.